You live here now. Turning the corner. Joke's on you, this game's all corners. <sighs> Whoa, double. Okay. So they're expecting me to grab this guy and put him here? I guess? Is this like another firing mechanism thingy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, weird. Shouldn't that have come up sooner? I feel like I've solved that puzzle before at this point. Like, that's a... Uh, that's trodden ground, I believe. Like, we, we, I did a way more complicated version of that, level, of that level earlier, didn't I? That seems like it's in the wrong place. Erosion. Hmm. Sure seems a lot like all I can do is grab this and run away. Like, bye. There goes all the platforms. So my choice is to either grab it and take it with me, don't take it with me, or burn it and take it with me. Do I want to burn it? Is there a reason to burn it? You activate it instantly? Yeah, you do. Let's see, if I held you like this, I'd get an arrow. Is that what I wanted? So you break, and you're just on a normal platform? <sighs> That's its own kind of weird, right? It's just on a block, it's not like a button or anything. What? Ow. Um, I just had the thought that if I have two blocks attached to each other, they can, you can have it overhang part of the destructible cliff and then that part won't break, but once I get past that one block, the next block will break, so it won't matter, but also how could I attach these two to each other, because I'd have to cross first, because the other, that's the only other block, right? It's over there. I can't reach it from here. So is it for some reason useful to do this? Like... What? Do I want to burn you? Didn't we establish that like if I... Doesn't burning you make you not destroy the block? Yeah, but now the other block's still there. Or still gone. What happens if an arrow hits you? <laughs> Nothing, basically. Same as always, I think. This is a weird one. Um. Hmm. The actual fuck's going on here? Uh. It started me here, so I probably fired. I have to burn something. Hmm. Like, we have to do the mechanic to get across the bridges, right? 
Also, I need to maintain... Hmm. Somehow I have to get back to the fire, which means I have to use the arrow. So I need to preserve the arrow, but I also need a two-part platform to get across this bridge, right? Am I gonna, like, skewer it? Is, is that the... Holy shit, okay. That came together rapidly. These are really quick puzzles a lot of the time when you actually figure them out. Just suddenly, boom, it's over. That was clever. I was, yeah, I was getting nervous because it's like, I have to keep the arrow because I needed to fire it to get across. So how the f is this going to work? Graveyard. Fuck. <laughs> it is me. I'm the grave. Uh, doop, boop. Mm. That's not great, is it? Oh, uh, what's going on with this level? Okay, um... Because this is bad. Help. Help, 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 help. Help, help. Uh. Huh? 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 Kill me. Okay. <laughs> I can do this to move them both over here. But the one that I'm standing on will be stuck in the spikes. Also that problem. Eh. So you can stab something into the spikes, or you can, ha or you have to set something on top of it and in front of it. So it's more blocks to get past it at that point. <sighs> this is why it would be very helpful to have one that the other one's not stuck. The other one's not stuck, I'm in a better spot. I can stick this one on top of it and then push it into the spike. How do I get not to be stuck? Or get it stuck in a better position, I guess. Like this. Oops. Did I fixie it? Did I just do the thing I said? I did the thing I said! I did the thing I said! The thing I said worked! Haha! <laughs> Rapid solution! Look at me go. You live on this spike spot. You gotta go in the middle. It's gotta go in the middle. That's where the opening is up here. Eight levels to go or more. Eight's a nice need of a number in that Atlanta 180, which is just kind of a whatever the fuck random number, but you know, it exists. Why not? I'm gonna have more than enough blocks, there's no reason to undo this one undo this tower. I'll get more. The two towers. Um one over there and one over there. That's two. Get it? Oh, that's a crumble block. Uh, this level's gonna be a lot, isn't it? Okay, um, spiky boys over here. Button activates them somewhere. Where's the button that activates them? Not under you. Oh, it's under the tower in the middle of the screen. Okay. That activates spikes, so when I get up there to get it, I'm gonna get spiked. Hmm. Which raises problem for me. Eh. Yeah. At least have the thing afterwards. Eh. So that means I can't leave now. Because of how spikes work. And also that thing's trapped under spikes. So it wouldn't be able to get out either. So I think I need one of the tall boys. Except it's a tall boy. It's a tall boy, after all. 
Uh, oh, not great for me. Mm hmm. Because I'm partly thinking I can grab this guy. Oop, I keep doing that wrong. And then grab this guy. Eh. And that sol this solves the most immediate problem, which is how do I get the other piece down? What? It pushed it? It was braced. How why did it push? Mm, when blocks do and don't slide is a weird thing in this game sometimes. Well, shit. I'm still trapped. How do I ever not be trapped then? That sounds hard. Why did it get pushed? It was braced by another block. It should have get stabbed. That was the whole plan. Anyway, if I have... If I have the flat block, I can climb both sides just fine, right? Yeah, that's me get back up. I just can't take it with me. Which could be a problem. But if you're here, I can walk onto here. And if I do it backwards while holding the other tall block, then I can climb up here. And then I can get on top. So I can get up there with just the two tall blocks. And then I just repeat the same thing on the other side, I guess. So... The question is just how to get the tall block in the middle, basically. Unless I am mistaken. in. Um... What are the mechanics here? What are the rules for this kind of sitch? That also pushed it away. Now you see, you're testing me. It's pushing me away. I don't... Hmm. Two towers. Yeah, that's the only clue. Mm, what is the mechanic here? Because it definitely feels... I feel like I'm dealing with some ambiguity of how block pushing works. That can be a little... All over the place. My only hope should be to find a way to brace it. Hmm. Yep, combine the information that I have. Because I even said... That with that I can avoid breaking these things. So will you... I think you should break it, or brace it. And make it stab? There we go. Yep. So I can hold on to you. That's good. It all came together. I just had to realize the solution I'd already made, kind of. Alright, so now this part that I already explained how to do. Then just got. Ah. Then just go to the other side of the map and do it again. Whoops! That's not good. <laughs> Don't do that. That's like the exact thing I shouldn't do. Well, look at me go. Okay, so. Boop. Do do do. Carry everything up this side. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be a bit of a prabble rock, aren't you? Shit. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's a... That's a new bad. Fuck. You were right there. Yep. My whole way of climbing that kind of surface involves stacking those dudes, and I can't do that... ...in that situation. Ah, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll just use it as a step. Okay. Um, yeah, my whole way of climbing these things only works if my hands are free. And I also step on both of them, so I can't carry anything or leave it on any of these spots. Mm. Well... There's been some pretty easy levels lately, but I can't expect them all to be like that weirdly straightforward. Eventually, the you did not you you definitely expect the left and right sides of the screen to be different solutions and not just the same thing twice, because that'd be a tad wasteful. But how the fuck did he do it? It's just like, yeah, how do I set it down anywhere and then be able to pick it up again? It always latches onto the top of the thing because your character grabs from lower on the platform. Mm, it's not going to work. Is it you then? Mm. Wow, I've been here for a while. I think you have to do some weird shit. Go all the way back to this part. <sighs> Boom. And now that far back, that was a little more than I meant. I think I have idea. Because there's still a crumble rock. But do they want me to use the crumble rock? Like get over here? Because if I go on this platform, I can use the long piece to do some shit. Which might be the exact opposite that I need to solve the right next stage. Because I can't get it onto the right side because you have to break that block to get it in the first place. So I can't take it upstairs on the right, but I just took it upstairs on the left. That's important. Hello? Hello, what have we here? Hmm. Not sure I love it. How do I get up there in the first place? How do I get up there? Sticks into the platform, which means it boosts the one I'm going towards. I can get weird with that, though, can't I? What? Yo, I'd like to report a bug. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! That's the weirdest thing that's happened so far. It goes through that block and then pushes something it didn't touch. Whoa. I think we're getting a little peek behind the scenes at what this game has instead of physics. <laughs> like, I think it's everything is just on a grid and it moves based on a certain logic and here the logic isn't matching up. Not that I know how physics works in games anyway, but that doesn't seem like it'd be a physics interaction. That seems like a pre-programmed interaction glitching out wrong. Like an interaction that happens if you swing a long piece into a tall piece into a pedestal, and it like projects the, the pushing force behind the pedestal. Like, because that's how a series of blocks would work if you want to program them to, to push each other. But the pedestal's not supposed to push anything because it's not supposed to move. But I think it's, even though the tall block's not moving, I think it's acting like it is moving, and then it's putting that force to the pedestal, which then puts the force through to the other block or something. That's fucking weird. Cool. 
Anyway. No, I had an idea a second ago before I got distracted. Re-idea me, me. Sup? <sighs> like that? I'm such a genius. Look at me go. Boom. Everything's burning. I'll see you in hell. Bye. One more barbell of progress. Get out of here, mouse. Acolyte. After you've played this game for this many hours, you become an acolyte. Ah. Hmm. Eh. Uh. Eh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Eh. I'm noticing this backside crumbles. What the fuck? <laughs> if I could get that upstairs, it'd be great, but I don't think I can. So I have to also use it to get upstairs. So the problem is I can get I can get my belongings right to the ledge, but then it's not tall enough. No going back there. Meanwhile, having... Sp Man, spikes are such a problem. Because you can't walk through them or onto them. But also, stuff that's on top of them doesn't get speared correctly. It gets lifted instead. And only gets impaled once you step on it. And that makes things all kinds of frustrating. I'm currently wondering... How... Do I... Ever get on top of those spears? One of the ways I often solve a puzzle is I try to imagine everything being in the right configuration. Like, what, where everything has to be in order for me to escape. And then I try to imagine how I get everything there. But in some of these puzzles, I can't even imagine what the solution looks like, let alone how to try to get there. Because, like, if this block I'm on right now was on those spikes but impaled on them so that it's a platform, I still wouldn't be able to get up to them. I needed this box to get up, but I also need the same box to be on the spikes to walk over the spikes. I need like a whole extra box. And neither of them can be my belongings, because my belongings need to be burned. And so that raises all sorts of questions. <sighs> shit.
Yeah, that's not gonna do it. None of these things cause things to go down the spikes. I can't reach that platform from here. You fucked me, Crumple. Hmm. God, yeah, it's not even a matter of not knowing how to get it to look like it. It's like I'm trying to imagine what the solution looks like at all. What do you want from me? Yeah, I don't know, sometimes you stare at these things and it's like, that's mathematically impossible. Which I guess means my entire approach is wrong. I don't... Hmm... I don't climb up here, do I? I think so. I think this is one of those cases where I can't climb up. It's just not gonna happen. The math just doesn't work out. There's just not enough blocks. It just doesn't make any sense. Pfft, can I knock it in? They give me a budget. They specifically give me the ability to climb multiple times. Grab this guy up. Whoops. Hmm, how's that range work out? Can I pr just knock it in? Except how would I prop it up here, in the first place? Is that what you're for? And... That one is two across, so as I fall into the, sp into the pit, it should reach across. Because this is about to rise? Hey! 